वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंड ऑफ फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू आरसी पैरेलल सर्किट फेजर डायग्राम सो इफ यू सी माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस इन दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन्ड आरसी सीरीज सर्किट फेजर डायग्राम हियर वी विल एनालाइज दैट फॉर पैरल कनेक्शन सो इफ यू सी हियर इन सर्किट आर एंड सी इज कनेक्टेड इन पैरल and voltage is connected across the rc parallel circuit so as elements are connected in parallel voltage across r and voltage across c that will be same so i can consider voltage as a reference for phasor diagram of rc parallel circuit so for parallel connection we will be considering voltage as a reference and if you have series connection in that case we should consider current as a reference so here let us consider v of t that is vm sin omega t now here this is time domain function and you can represent that in terms of phase as per v bar that is maximum amplitude into phase angle here phase angle is zero as it is reference you see sin omega t only i have written now my dear students to analyze this circuit i need to have phase of current so phase of current is bisected into resistance and capacitance let us say through resistance current is ir and through capacitance current is ic so now what i'll do is i'll explain you ir in terms of phase and ic in terms of phase so here ir in terms of phase that is voltage in terms of phase divided by resistance and you can say voltage in terms of phase that is vm angle zero as we have considered that as a reference divided by resistance r now if you want to calculate ic in terms of phase then ic in terms of phase will be voltage in terms of phase divided by impedance of capacitance so let us say impedance of capacitance is zc and voltage in terms of phase is vm angle 0 and impedance of zc that is 1 by j omega c so here this omega c that will go in numerator so i can say vm into omega c and here j will be having angle 90 so in numerator angle is 90 so i can say capacitor phase that will be 90 degree with magnitude of current vm into omega c now we are having current ir and ic so if you consider this node which is having voltage v then apply kcl at node v so entering current is equals to leaving current here entering current is i in terms of phase that is equals to leaving current is ir and ic so here i am writing ir in terms of phase plus ic in terms of phase now ir in terms of phase that we already calculated which is vm by r angle 0 and ic in terms of phase that is also we have calculated vm omega c into angle 90 so now we have current in terms of phase and voltage in terms of phase so we can have phasor diagram of this rc parallel connection now my dear students if you observe voltage in terms of phase is having maximum voltage vm and angle 0 so that is a reference so this v is vm angle 0 now let us plot current in terms of phase so when you want to plot current in terms of phase there are two components ir and ic ir is having angle 0 and its magnitude is vm by r so let us plot ir which is overlapping over voltage as voltage is also having phase 0 degree so ir that is in terms of phase it will be vm by r angle 0 now my dear students capacitive current that is ic its value is vm omega c and its phase is 90 degree so here 
from this terminal I need to have 90 degree phase line and its value is Vm omega c angle 90 degree this is IC current in terms of phase. Now if you want resultant magnitude of current then you will have to join this terminal to this terminal. So this is our current phase and let us say its magnitude is Im and its phase angle that is phi. Now I will show you how to identify this phase and magnitude. So my dear students if you observe magnitude as per this triangle then it will be as per Pythagoras theorem square root of one side square plus second side square. So one side magnitude is Vm by R whole square plus second side magnitude is Vm omega c whole square. Now here Vm is common from both so I can take it outside. So Vm into square root of 1 by R whole square plus omega c whole square. So that is what magnitude of current. Now if you wanted to have this phase which is phi then as per this triangle I can say 10 theta or 10 phi that is opposite divided by adjacent. So phi is 10 inverse opposite is Vm omega c divided by adjacent that is Vm by r. So this Vm will get cancelled and I can say this phi phase this r will go in numerator so I can say r omega c that will be phase of this current. So here it is very much clear to all that this current I is leading with respect to voltage in RC parallel connection. Now my dear students if you see RC series connection so in that also you will be observing current was leading with respect to voltage but formula of phase was different I will explain you how to identify formula but if you observe for RC series connection I have already explained that for RC series you see this is RC series connection in that see current was leading with respect to voltage and here phase that was minus 10 inverse 1 by omega c r right and over here if you observe for RC parallel connection so in that our phase is 10 inverse r omega c. Here also current is leading with respect to voltage. So leading and lagging that is not depending on series or parallel connection. Always remember capacitive circuit will have current leading with respect to voltage. But formula of phase that is different right. Now I will explain you how those formulas are different. So here we are having parallel connection. So for parallel connection let us identify impedance first. So for parallel connection 1 by Z that is equals to 1 by ZR plus 1 by ZC. Now here 1 by Z that is admittance and ZR is R only and what is ZC that is 1 divided by J omega C. So what will happen here this is 1 by R plus now J omega C will go in numerator so I need to write plus J omega C here. So let us represent this admittance in terms of magnitude and phase. So here admittance in terms of phase that will be magnitude of this that is square root of real component square that is 1 by R square plus imaginary component square that is omega c whole square and its angle that will be phi is equals to 10 inverse imaginary component divided by real component. Imaginary component is omega c divided by 1 by r that will make it to r omega c. So you can observe phase of admittance and phase of current that is same. So whenever you have parallel connection from admittance you can identify phase right and for parallel connection you should know that current I that will be voltage into admittance. 
Now we know here voltage is reference. We have already considered that you see that is Vm into angle 0. So here voltage is Vm into angle 0 and into admittance that is this. So I can say this is Vm into square root of 1 by r square plus omega c whole square with phase phi and that phase phi is how much? 10 inverse r omega c. So see that is same as this, right? So my dear students, one thing that you should remember, whenever you have parallel connection, at that time you should identify phase with respect to admittance and that phase will be of current. And whenever you have series connection, at that time you can identify phase with respect to impedance and that will be phase of voltage. So that is how you can easily understand phasor diagram. You don't need to remember these formulas directly by impedance and admittance we can calculate phase of series and parallel connection. I hope you have understood this. Still if any query is there just post that in the comment box. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.